This tutorial is going to teach you how to create navigation buttons using ActionScript 3.0. Uh, so to begin with, if you go to the uh, library, you'll notice that I've made a bunch of these um, buttons. They're nothing special, so if you don't have access to these, just build them yourself. It's just a shape um, with some text in the middle. Um, what we're going to do now is go down to the layer and press F6 three times. One, two, three. Um, so we've got four frames that are blank, and we're going to make a new layer and do the same thing on that. Four frames that are blank using F6, uh, and then we're going to drag some navigation onto the screen, write some numbers so that we can actually see that our action script is working when we apply it. So layer number one here, we're just gonna drag the next button on and the jump two button on. Um, and we're gonna write up anywhere on the frame just one because it's frame number one. Uh, then we're gonna skip to frame number two and write two and stick the back button on here. Or make it if you haven't got them in your library. Skip frame number three, jump to frame number four, write four on it, and whack the uh, replay button on it. And if you don't like the position, just move it around a bit. Um, and there we go. Um, and you'll notice everything is on layer number one, nothing is on layer number five, because layer number five, if we double click it, is gonna get called actions. And this is where we're gonna put our action script. So um, for action script to work on buttons, however, we need to give the buttons instance names because at the moment they're called this in our library, but when you click on them and go to properties, they're called nothing. Um, so what we need to do is give them instance names and the instance names can then be referenced or called by the action script. So um, we're gonna frame four, this button here is gonna be called, um, we'll just call it jump BTN1 because it's jumping to the frame, good one. Uh, next, we're gonna call this one next BTN1 and then we're gonna skip over here to the back button and we're gonna call this one back button one. Yep, you call, you you really uh, could preempt that one and you'll no prizes for guessing this one. Replay BTN one. Now make sure you don't do any typos in here and make sure when we are writing this in our action script that we write this exactly the same way, including case sensitivity and spacing and all that. Cool, all right, jump back to frame number one and we're gonna shove our action script in for our next button. So to do action script, you need to press F9 on your keyboard or right click on the frame that you want it to be applied to and hit actions. Um, and it pops up in this window um, and this is where we're gonna add in our action script. So um, we need to add an event listener An event listener pretty much listens for something to happen. So we're gonna put a mouse event listener on this button or listening for this button's press. So it's next btn1 uh, we know that because we just called it that and if you really want to check you can click here and look up there and what do you know it's called that um, go back to our actions layer and what we want to do is dot add event listener and this is going to listen for a mouse event and we want to listen for click and then hit the comma and this is where you need to give it a, um, a handler name so every listener needs to have a handler um, and this can be anything. You could write like porcupines or something, but it's kind of silly. Um, we're gonna call it next click because that kind of makes sense. Uh, close the bracket and then do semicolon. So there's our event listener made. All right, now we need to make a function that links to this handler. So we're gonna write the word function um, and it'll be linked to this handler right here. So we wanna double click that, press control C and then press control V. You could type it in, but you know, Typings for losers if you can control C, control V. Um, open bracket um, and you can write EVT or E or event. I'm just gonna write event for now. Um, and then we write here mouse event because this function is a mouse event. Um, and then we close the bracket and we're gonna write the word void. Um, long and the short of it, you write void, it makes flash not have to process as much stuff. Uh, press enter um, and hit open parentheses and then press enter again. Um, and this will give us a little area here where we can put our actions, what's actually gonna happen when we press our button in between these two parentheses. Um, so what we want to happen is next frame, open close bracket, semicolon. So what this says is listen for the um, event of a mouse click and when it does happen, we want it to go to the next frame um, when next BTN one is clicked. Um, and what we're gonna do um, before we try this is actually put a stop command because if we don't put a stop command on these frames here, 
um, it'll just spam through almost like an animated GIF and it won't actually work properly. So we're gonna write the word stop up here, open, close bracket, semicolon, and you'll notice that Flash has imported the mouse event uh, that happened when we made our function. Cool. Um, now we're gonna highlight this stuff right here. So all this code and stop, control C, because we don't wanna have to write all this again. Um, and we're gonna go to the next frame. So if we move this over just a touch, skip to this frame here. And you can see here we have the back button. Uh, we're just gonna click here and press control V to paste. Um, and instead of it saying next BTN1, it's gonna change. So we're gonna just highlight this section here and write back, because we call it back BTN1 before. Um, and instead of it saying next click, it's gonna be called back click. And this one here is also gonna be back click. And instead of it going next frame, it's gonna be prev frame, which is previous frame. Um, and if we press on the X here, uh, press control enter, this will export it as a Swift movie and we can test it out. So here's our next button and it goes to frame number two, press the back button, goes back to frame number one. So our navigation works, except we haven't done this jump to business here. So we've got next and previous, but what we wanna do is go to this frame number one here and add some more code. So press F9, back on frame number one, press enter once or twice. Um, you could press it a hundred times, it wouldn't make a difference. Um, the spaces aren't really recognized. Um, and press control V to paste our big block of code. We don't need the stop again, so just delete that. Um, and this one was called, if we click on it, jump BTN1. So we might just copy that, go back to our actions layer here, um, highlight this, press control V. Uh, so it's jump BTN1. And we're gonna call this jump click. And we're gonna call this next one here, jump click. Um, and instead of going next frame, we want it to go to and stop, open bracket, frame number four, close bracket, semicolon. Um, so instead of going next frame, it's gonna skip some frames and go to. So much more specific way of navigation as opposed to just going next and previous. Of course, we need to be able to get back. So if we highlight this code right here, press control C and jump to frame number four here, where our replay button is. Uh, we're just gonna paste that, control V. Um, I'm gonna write stop up here as well. Open, close brackets, semicolon. Um, and instead of it being jump BTN1, I believe this is called replay BTN1. So let's we'll copy that again. Go to frame number four um, and highlight that, press paste. And we're gonna change this from jump to replay because we need to give each handler a unique name. Um, and we're gonna call this one replay as well. Um, and instead of it go toing and stopping, if that's really good English, to frame number four, we're gonna change that to number one. Um, and now it'll back, go to back to frame number one. So if we press on the X, press control enter, we can test out all our navigation, frame four, jumps to frame four, replay takes us back to the start, next goes that one, back, etc. There we go. Um, we've made basic navigation using ActionScript 3.0. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial.